Welcome to CORE, my name is Kat Thomas and today's Expressive Power Flow. So grab your water, grab your blocks or props if you are using them, your straps, whatever makes you reach your edge, just as long as you're honoring that, keeping with your breath and uh, having a good time with us today down here on the mat. If you are tuning in with the playlist, go ahead and you can start playing that now. And let's start here in our child's pose. So come down to Balasana. You can bring the toes together, heels separated, hands stretched out in front of you, forehead down to the mat, or you can bring the knees together hands close to the body, honor your edge, start to melt down, sinking into the mat. And let's just let that breath flow through the nostril and back out through the lips, letting the belly gently rise and fall. As you begin to soften into your own body, into your space, And wherever you are in this day, in this moment, just bring your attention and awareness to the base of the spine, our sacrum, our root chakra. No matter what time of the day it is, no matter what day it is, we always have a moment to re-root our own mind, body, and breath. Let that root down. And let's set an intention for the practice for our day. And we'll start using our oceanic breath or ujjayi, breathing in through the nose and back out through the nostrils. And on your next inhale, gently start to lift the body up, drawing the navel in, slow and powerful movement, and rock yourself to tabletop. And let's just get ourselves situated here. Let's bring the hands to shoulders distance apart. Spread those beautiful fingers wide. Press the flesh of the hand into the mat. And the gaze just reaching down. Draw that navel in, nice flat back. And we're just gonna rock the heart center forward slightly. Your wrist directly underneath the shoulders. Stay with your ujjayi breath here, breathing in deep through the nostrils and back out through the nose. And let's just do a little roll in with the elbows and really feel that extension as we raise ourselves a little further as we do that. So your shoulder blades start rolling across the back. Perhaps a little smile upon the face as the body begins to acknowledge it's warming up, it's getting ready. The fire brewing in your root chakra, your sacrum. And gently exhale, rock back onto the sit bones. Coming to hero pose, Varasana, sitting back on the ankles, knees together, hands just resting on the thighs, crown of the head reaching up long through the spine. And let's start rolling out the wrists, 
rolling out the hands, warm them up as well. And let's gently take hold with our left hand, just press gentle onto the right hand's fingers, pressing them gently back. And forward, pressing them into the palm of the hand, and back again, and forward. Let's give that cute little thumb, if you got it, a little same love, pushing it back and pressing it forward. One more time through, and release. Switch over to the left hand, gently pulling those fingers back, and then pressing them into the palm of the hand. Move through this with the breath. One more time with the fingers, and then move on to that left thumb, You might feel some little cricks and cracks. And release the hands down to the legs again. And let's inhale, reach those arms high above you. Drop the shoulders. That left arm is gonna swing back behind you. And you're just gonna place the palm of your hand onto the spine. Fingers reaching up. That right hand is going to go back behind you, and best as you can, you're going to try and reach those fingertips to connect. You may not get there right now, but go ahead and just try. Inhale, release the arms up, and switch to the other side. Your fingertips are just trying to kiss behind you. And exhale, extend those wings out and give yourself a nice big hug. Spread the fingers wide. Really try and retract those shoulders as much as possible. All right, I think we've warmed ourselves up. Let's inhale, reach the arms up above, palms come down. Let's curl those toes under and lift the hips sky high, downward facing dog. Drop the head, push into the mat. Palms and fingers are flat, fingers are spread wide. Heels are reaching for the floor. Let's inward, turn those elbows so they want to kiss. Drop that head. Roll through the breath and really bring the attention back to the base of the spine. Bring that left foot to the center of the mat. Inhale and lift that right leg sky high, three-legged dog. Point that toe, press off from the hands, lift a little higher. Deep breath in as you exhale, right foot comes down. Inhale and we'll lift that left leg sky high, point the toe. Lifting and pressing from the palms, gaze towards that right shin, lift a little higher. Deep breath in, exhale, lower that left leg down. Keep the breath flowing, use your ujjayi breath here. Inhale, come up on the tippy toes, hollow out the back and roll over. Plank, feel the strength of your body. Feel yourself rooting down through those fingertips and palms. Inhale, come back to downward dog. As you exhale, drop those heels down. Draw the navel in. Inhale, reach the gaze forward. Hollow the back. Roll the heart center up and over the fingertips. 
Take a deep breath in here and exhale, slowly lower down. Come all the way down to the mat, belly. Soft on the mat, soft into the back of the feet. Let's bring one foot into the sit bones at a time. We're gonna lift here, bring the heart center up. Lift those hands up and exhale, drop the forehead back down. Extend those arms out and swing them back behind you. Take hold of the toes, the outsides of your feet and lift the heart center up as you press into the hands. Try and keep the knees hugging in towards one another. Lifting even higher, take another deep breath and exhale, release. Forehead comes down, stay with the feet and the hands connected. On your next inhale, gently lift up, press into those hands. Lift that heart center high. Deep breath in and exhale, release. Bring the palms of the hands on either side of the chest. Legs come down. Inhale, cobra pose. Hold here, press into the hand. If that's hurting your back, just come into baby cobra. We're gonna inhale, reach the gaze up and over the left shoulder. Inhale through the center. And exhale, release to the other side. Slow and powerful breaths. One more breath on each side. And exhale, slowly lower back down. Curl both the feet under. You're gonna be on the balls of your toes. Press up into your plank. Take a breath here and exhale, downward facing dog. Let's walk the dog, pedal the knees in. Feel a nice opening and stretch through the cages. And come back to center. Inhale, reach the gaze forward. Exhale, bring that right foot between the fingers. Move into a high lunge. You can get your blocks ready and set up near you if you wanna use them. We're gonna inhale, lift those wings sky high, crescent lunge. Gaze coming up towards the ceiling. Let's spread those wings wide. Holding here, keep that left leg nice and strong and tall. Ground in through the right foot. Scissor those thighs in towards one another. And exhale, palms come down, right foot meets the left. Join me in plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, we're gonna lift that left leg, bring it all the way through our fingertips. Get yourself set up and inhale, crescent lunge. Keep the navel drawn in. Press into that left foot, right leg strong and tall. And exhale, drop the palms, left foot meets the right, join me in plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the gaze forward, right foot comes between the fingertips. Soften to the left knee, soften to the foot. Inhale, reach the arms sky high. And lunge a little deeper forward, drop those shoulders down. Make sure that knee isn't going over that big toe. And exhale, drop the palms, curl that foot, lift the body, right comes back to meet the left. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the gaze forward as you bring that left foot, drop that right knee, and low crescent lunge. Use your breath, see if one inhalation can match that exhalation. 
Even if it's a shorter breath, try and lengthen it out each time. Exhale, drop those palms, curl that back foot. Left meets the right, join me in plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift that right leg sky high, 90 degree bend. And roll over to the left side. Push into the hands, lifting those hips even higher. Gaze up and under that right arm. On your next inhale, square those hips back to center. Extend that right leg and exhale, swing it through those fingertips. Inhale, crescent lunge. Deep breath in, exhale, drop the palms, right foot meets the left, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift that left leg sky high, 90 degree bend, and roll over. Push into the hands, reach the gaze up and under that left arm. Feel a nice opening through the left cage. Inhale as you square the hips back to center and exhale, swing that left foot between the fingers. Inhale, crescent lunge. Deep breath in, exhale, drop the palms, left foot meets the left, right, <laughs> join me in plank. And we're gonna hold here for just a moment. Gaze down on the mat. So let's bring our heart center forward just a little bit. We're gonna inhale as we lift that right foot, point the toe, and drop it over onto the left ankle. We're gonna roll over onto that left side. Press off with that left hand. If this is a little too intense, you can come down on your forearms. But we're gonna lift that right arm sky high. Now gaze going up to the middle finger. So we're gonna add a lot of spice here. So we're gonna extend that right arm up and over, palm facing down. And we're gonna bring that right knee in towards the body. So let's hold here, lift those hips up high. Beautiful, extend that right leg to meet the left. Bring that right hand back and roll yourself back to high plank. Come down to chaturanga, upward dog, and back to downward facing dog. Inhale, hollow out the back, roll yourself into your plank. Come a little forward. Inhale, lift that left foot, cross it onto that right ankle and roll over onto your side, lift high. Again, you can hang here, but we're gonna try and bring that left arm over the body, really open up through the side. Keep lifting those hips up, palm facing down, we're gonna lift that left leg and bend the knee in, point the toe. Keep lifting, pushing off from that right hand. Woo! I can feel a shake so I know I'm alive today. One more breath. And extend that left leg, bring that left arm back and around, plant that hand, move through your vinyasa. Back to downward facing dogs. Inhale, reach the gaze forward. Let's walk up to the hands on our tippy toes. Forward fold. You can have a nice big bend in the knees here. Let yourself just rock gently side back and forth on the feet. Let that head drop. And let's bring those big toes so they're touching. The heels are slightly drifting apart. Bend into the knees, make sure they're even. Uttakadasana, our chair pose. Now while you're up here, we're gonna turn those pinkies in. You should feel a nice, just a release in the shoulders. Draw the navel in. 
Use your ujjayi breath here. Lengthen through the breath. And inhale, elongate and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flatten the spine as you raise the heart center up. Exhale, drop the palms. Take a nice step back, join me in plank, move through your vinyasa. Back to downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the gaze forward, walk forward once again towards those hands. And now let's just take gentle hold of the big toes if you got them with your peace fingers. And we're just going to bring the body up, halfway raise. Holding here, draw that navel in, reach the gaze forward. And exhale, release. Inhale, elbows come out to the sides as you draw the crown of the head down now towards the toes. And exhale, release. Bring those big toes together. Heels are slightly drifting apart. Uttakasana, come up to your chair pose and sink down. You got to pull that pelvic floor in. We don't want to stick our booties out. We want to draw the pelvic floor in and sink. So wherever you are, honor that chair that you're sitting in today, in this moment. Pinkies turn in. Deep breath in. Relax yourself. Inhale, elongate through the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway raise, nice flat back. Exhale, drop the palms. Walk or float the feet back. Move through your vinyasa, back to downward facing dog. Let's inhale, lift that right leg sky high. Exhale, drop between the hands once again. We're gonna drop that back foot. So we want to see our alignment first before we bring our torso up. The front heel should bisect the arch in that back foot. We're going to move into our warrior pose. So pressing off from this right foot. Inhale, lift the arms up and extend them out. Find that alignment. Find your balance, your warrior sense. And then reach that gaze forward to the middle finger. And you can really feel the difference when you're kind of rolling those thighs in your, your, uh, your hips here, as opposed to letting the knee drift inward. So if you roll the hips under, you'll really feel the difference. Maybe it won't hurt as much. Use that breath. Keep yourself flowing. Sink a little further here if you can. Navel drawn in. Think about how much of a warrior you have created in these few months. Let's flip that right palm up to the sky and inhale, extend the arm up and over the body. And exhale, we're gonna pinwheel the arms back around. So this forearm can drop on that right thigh. The left arm sky high, reaching up and over the body. Side angle pose. And from here, we have a tendency to want to roll in. Let's roll the, the torso up. Open that heart up. Stay with your ujjayi breath here today. Keep all that power juicy and inside you. And inhale, come back to warrior two. One more deep breath in and exhale, straighten that front leg. Give ourselves a little moment. So we're gonna move into our side angle. So you should still be in the good alignment. That front heel is in the midsection of that arch of the back foot but you're gonna to wanna to bring that foot in a bit more. It should equal a nice triangular section here, all equal sides. So however long your legs are, that's how long your triangle is. So see, I've got a little leg, so I'm gonna bring my foot in a little more. 
So from here, let's start with our hands on our hips, roll the shoulders back, and then we're gonna square the hips to face where our front toes are facing, which is forward now. Keep the navel drawn in, and we're gonna inhale, reach that right arm sky high, fingers spread. We're gonna elongate through the crown of the head and slowly start to lower the heart center down. So this is where you decide what your edge is. You can place the hand on your thigh, you can place the hand on your shin, or you can use your blocks. And there's a few different ways to use your blocks. You can set them up like this, you can go lower, if you want to go extra spicy today, just bring your hands down to the mat. It's not about getting the move perfect. It's about feeling your core strengthening, feeling a nice stretch. And drop the head. Let that neck feel a little bit of love. And wherever you are in the pose, we're just gonna bend into that right knee. Inhale and come back to warrior two. Beautiful warriors. Inhale, reach those arms sky high. Turn that right foot to face the front. Draw the navel in and exhale, swing those arms behind you, clasp the hands. And let's exhale as we elongate through the crown and roll the body down, forward fold. Those arms can come up and over the body as long as those palms are connected. You can have a bend in the knees. Draw the navel in and inhale, slowly raise that beautiful body up once again. Roll the shoulders, shake the arms out a little. And inhale, reach the arms sky high. And exhale, move into warrior two on the other side. If you need to adjust and bring that back foot back, go ahead, just make sure that you're bisecting front heel with that back arch. Bring the body to center, reach the gaze toward that left middle finger. Sink a little deeper if you can. Honor your edge. Two more breaths, almost there. And deep breath in as you flip that left palm and exhale, float that arm up and over the body. Open through that left cage a little more. If binders want to try and take a bind, go ahead and try and grab onto that left thigh. Sink a little deeper. Deep breath in, exhale, pinwheel down. Forearm on that thigh, right arm coming up and over the body. Make sure that back foot is not rolling in. Deep breath in, exhale back to warrior two. On your next exhale, straighten that left leg, moving into your side angle pose. So get yourself set up. If you need to walk that back foot in a little more, go ahead. Make that triangle all yours. So here you want to make sure you're not dipping the hips. So you want to kind of roll that top femur into that left hip socket. So you're going to push that hip back. You'll see it becomes a lot more comfortable and extend out and then down. Honor your edge. For those that want to make this extra spicy, you can draw that right arm sky high, gaze goes up to the middle finger. But find your strength through your own edge. Honor your core. Good 
We're giving our liver and spleen a nice little massage here. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, we're going to bring that left knee forward. Hand comes to the waist. Lift the heart center up back to warrior two. And inhale, extend those arms up, turn that left foot forward. From here, we're gonna extend through the center and exhale, forward fold. Remember, we're gonna keep this nice and slow, draw that beautiful navel in. Elongate through the spine and forward fold. If you need your blocks in front of you, go ahead, bring one in front. Let that head drop low. Bring that block in a little closer to the body. So if you are using your block, you can actually just take hold of the side like this, and you can bring the elbows back in between the legs, really hollowing out that back, dropping the chin to the chest. And inhale, halfway raise, flat back. Exhale, release yourself back down to the mat or the block. Elbows perpendicular to the floor. Inhale, halfway raise, flat back. Hands come to the waist. Deep breath in and elongate the body. Walk those cute little feet in. They can be the width of your block if you have that, or shoulders distance apart. Wonderful. And inhale, reach the arms sky high. Let's take gentle hold. I'm just gonna move back a little. Take gentle hold of that right wrist. Extend and elongate through the spine. Inhale and exhale, float to the left side. Gaze goes up to the right. Inhale through the center, smooth the spine for one breath, switch the arms, and exhale, float to the right side, gaze to the left. And inhale back to center, roll out the wrists. Beautiful. And just move that block out of the way. Let's ground that left heel, the left toes all into the mat, heart and sole of the foot completely engaged. We've got that nice strong core all the way through like a rod shooting down the left side. Inhale as we bring that right knee up, palms come up, point the toe. Take your right hand and just gently place it inside that thigh and guide yourself over. You want to try and keep that left hip facing forward. That right knee just working itself to the other side of the room. So if you feel yourself starting to turn this way, don't try and push this knee anymore. And just keep the navel drawn in, maybe a little smile on the face. Squeeze through the glutes. Let them connect and engage with the, the legs, building strength and confidence. And bring that beautiful knee back to center and release down to the floor. You can shake it out here. And let's ground that right foot into the mat. Palms come up, shoulders down the spine, draw the navel in. Inhale, let's lift that left knee 90 degrees, point the toe. And if you want, you can start moving that left leg all the way over. Make sure that you're staying strong and tall through the spine. You might find that one side's either a little more open or a little more out of balance than the other. That is completely normal. Really squeeze through the glutes, root yourself down, pelvic floor coming up.
and slowly bring that left knee back to center and exhale, release it back down, shake it out. And let's inhale, reach the arms high above us and exhale, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Roll the shoulders up and back. Pelvic floor comes up. Gaze out in front of you, the thighs kissing together. Bring your attention and awareness back to your sacrum. Think about your root chakra, the base of your spine, the point where everything collects. Helps us stay grounded. Inhale, reach those beautiful wings sky high, palms come together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway raise, nice flat back, I'll turn here. And exhale, drop the palms down, walk or jump the feet back, come into low plank. So roll the heart center up and over the heart, the fingers. Inhale, come up to high plank. Now make sure that you've got your hands placed down, shoulders distance apart. Inhale as you bring that left knee to the outside of that tricep on the left arm. Really feel that connection, point the toe. Holding here. And exhale, release. Inhale as you draw that right knee up to that right tricep. Point the right toe. And exhale, release. Deep breath in, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the gaze forward. Draw that right knee between the thumbs. Soften to that left knee, soften to the left foot. Now, if you want to grab your block, we're going to move into pigeon. We're just going to start rolling and bringing that right foot, big toe, reaching for the outer edge of your mat. You can help with your hands. So, if you're using a prop, it's going to go underneath the sit bone on the right side. You'll feel a nice stretch either way. The further you bring your foot up, the harder it is. So. If you want to kind of honor, if you're just beginning out, kind of keep that foot back here. You want to make sure that you're not rolling off that left knee. Take a deep breath in here, draw the navel in, and extend the crown of the head down, out above that right knee. Forearms can come down to the mat. If that's a little too much, just hold here in, in mini sphinx. So fingertips are spread wide, shoulders distance apart on the forearms. Breathe into that right hip. Release any unserving thoughts as you melt down here. Three more breaths. And inhale, lift the heart center up, bring the palms in a little closer to that right knee. Bring that left foot in towards the sit bone. Extend that right arm up and back. Reach for that toe and pull the foot in. Gaze goes up and over towards the right shoulder. And exhale, gently release that left foot down. Palm comes down, 
Curl that back foot, lift the body, draw the right back to meet the left. Join me in plank, move through your vinyasa, back to downward dog. And we're gonna inhale, gaze forward, left knee comes between the thumbs, soften to that right knee. Get yourself squared up here as you start to move into pigeon. You're gonna bring that left foot over to the opposite edge of the right side of your mat. Stay on that right knee. Again, one side might be a little more open than the other, honor that. Inhale through the crown of the head and exhale, begin to lower it down out in front of that left knee. Bring the forearms down. Breathe in to the left side. Three more breaths here. And inhale, push up with the hands, lift the heart center, hands come back towards that left leg. Bring that right foot in, bring that left arm back behind you and draw the foot in towards the body. Gaze up and over that left shoulder. Honor your own edge. You know where you should be here. You should not be feeling any pain. Just stretch. And exhale as you gently release that right foot. Curl the toe, lift the body, join me in plank, move through your vinyasa, back to downward facing dog. And inhale, walk or jump, the feet between the hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway raise, exhale, drop the palms, walk or jump the feet back to plank. Folding strong here, you guys are rocking this. Navel drawn in. And drop one knee at a time, hips distance apart. Woo, yeah. And floating tabletop. Let's extend that right arm, palm down, fingertips spread. Stretch that left foot out behind you, nice flat back. Bend that left knee, flex the foot towards the sky. And just start doing little pulses here. If that's a little too much, just place that right hand down. Give yourself the support you need. If you've got this strong tripod going with the left arm, make sure it's straight. Keep pulsing. Keep that navel drawn in, protect that spine. For 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Come down onto the sit bones. Roll out the wrist. Maybe rock gently side to side. Draw the navel in, inhale, come back to tabletop, get yourself set up, and extend left arm, right leg. Bend that knee, flex that right foot, and start pulsing up to the sky. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Gently release. Rock back onto your sit bones. Come into a nice, strong hero pose. Hands resting on the thighs. 
Use your breath, really slow the heart rate down once again. Inhale, let's elongate the spine, crown of the head lifting. Inhale, bring the shoulders up to the ears and roll the shoulders back. Bring that pelvic floor forward. So as you do that, you have an inward rotation. Those hips start trying to kiss one another. It's like you're trying to zip those really tight pants. Set your spine up for success and strengthening. Inhale, reach the arm sky high. Let's start with the right arm, bring it back. Place that hand on your heels and then swing that left arm back behind you. Lift that heart center up to the sky. Maybe a big smile on that beautiful face. If that's a little too much, just keep the spine straight, crown the head lifting up towards the sky. Hands slightly on the back, maybe massaging those kidneys. You can have a little slight back bend. Two more breaths here. Coming out of this is just as important. Bring one hand to the waist at a time and slowly come up. Exhale, drop down to child's pose. Smooth out the spine. <sighs> Maybe release a big sigh. <sighs> and inhale, come up to tabletop. You can swing the feet around or cross them underneath and roll right into your easy seated posture. Then bring the feet out in front of you. And we're just gonna bring those knees in towards the chest. Point the toes, roll the shoulders back. Heart center going towards the knees. Draw the navel in. And then slowly start to lower back as if you're in a little boat and you're trying to row. So go side to side, really feeling this oblique starting to get a little bit of love here. Keep the navel drawn in. Or you can do maybe like a little infinity. But you're rowing to shore. Keep those legs up. You're almost to shore. Keep rowing. You're in your cute little boat. For five, four, three, two, and one. Keep those legs lifted high, heart center comes forward. You can help yourself by putting the hands underneath the legs. Arms come out though, if you can, spread those fingers wide and retract the shoulder blades. Use the length of one inhale to match the exhalation. And cross the ankles, put the right shin in front of the left. Sit bones rooted down into the mat. And inhale, reach those wings high above you. Exhale, we're gonna twist to the left side. Left hand comes down on the mat. Use that thumb just behind the sacrum, so the root of your spine, and press into it so you can really elongate. So you're pressing the body forward so you're nice and strong and tall. And then we're just gonna drop that right hand, fingertips onto the mat. So keep pressing with that left thumb. Drop those right fingertips. Gaze up and over the left shoulder. Draw the navel in. And use that exhalation with each time you release, you can maybe twist a little further through your digestive system. Exhale, 
and inhale, slowly float back to center. Hands just on top of the knees slightly. You're not using them to pull. They're just resting there. But you're going to exhale and you're going to hollow the back out. Bring that sacrum now down to the mat, or you're trying to. And you're going to inhale, arch the back, seated cat and cow. And exhale, draw yourself down. Inhale, arch the back, gaze goes up, shoulder blades trying to kiss. And exhale, protract the shoulder blades. One more time through. And come back, nice straight back. Inhale and exhale, switch left shin in front of the right. Inhale, reach the arms sky high. Exhale, twist to the side. Right hand comes back behind you, thumb behind that sacrum. And twist, dropping those left fingertips on the mat. And exhale, slowly float back to center. Bring those knees together. Keep the ankles crossed. Draw them into your heart. And exhale, extend those legs out in front of you. Flex the toes, staff pose. Elongate through the spine. Inhale, reach the arms above you. Exhale, elongate and draw the crown of the head towards the feet. Wherever you'd like to place the hands, go ahead and place them. One more deep breath in and exhale, release the hands, walk the body back up nice and strong and tall. And let's bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug, hollow the back, drop the forehead. And rock and roll down onto the lower spine. Knees stay in, just gently rock side to side. Give those kidneys a little massage. And we're going to extend that right leg out, point the toe, draw that left knee in. Extend that left arm out, palm down, fingers spread, and twist that left knee over to the right side, gaze to the left hand. Deep breath in, come back to center. Bring that right knee to meet the left. And exhale, drop that left leg, point the toe. Bring that right knee into the chest. Right arm goes out and left knee, excuse me, right knee goes to the left side, gaze to the right. Inhale, come back to center, both knees drawn into the chest. Let's bring our legs 90 degrees, knees are still bent. Let's just take gentle hold of the outside of our feet and bring the knees into the body. Spread the legs out slightly and rock side to side, happy baby. And maybe take a few deep sips of air, release with your sigh here, let the lips flutter. <sighs> Feel yourself connected, mind, body, and breath. And release the hands, let them float down to your sides, extend the legs sky high, take a deep breath in. 
and slowly let the legs float down to the earth. Slow and gentle. Keeping the lower back secured onto the mat until finally they touch surface and you release. <sighs> Letting yourself float away. Closing the eyes. Letting the face melt and soften. Bringing your awareness and attention to your breath. Drawing it in deeply through the nose. And feeling the connection still with the earth here. Bring your attention and awareness to your sacrum, our connection, where all things flow. Imagine that space vibrant, healed, and full of bright light keeping all things connected and rooted down. And through your next inhale, feel yourself release. Release anything that doesn't help you stay focused on the breath as it comes in through the nose. And exhale, release through the lips. The sacred space rooting you down, helping mind, body, and breath flow together, ignite your awareness, your intentions, empower you. Let this space shine bright. Take another deep breath in through the nose and begin to wiggle fingertips and toes. As you elevate yourself slightly in thought and acknowledge just how beautiful you truly are, rolling gently over onto one side Give your body a warm embrace, knowing that this space, this root can always be felt in the midst of chaos, whether it's within yourself, through others, or the world around you. Curl up into a little ball or lie down on your back and press that root down. Bring your attention to it. It is supportive. It is collective. It is yours. Acknowledge and honor this power that you create, that you have within you. And when you're ready to share that, gently rise, join me 
in an easy seated posture as we seal today's practice and intentions with three ohms. Taking a deep breath in. Oh. 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 I thank the universe for our life, family, jobs, friends. I ask that we are blessed in peace, harmony, bliss, joy, love, and light. Namaste.